In this video you are going to learn total quality management. Topics I have discussed in this video are, what is total quality management? 7 principles of total quality management, advantages of total quality management, and disadvantages of total quality management. Let's start the video. Total Quality Management or TQM is a structured approach to overall organizational management. The focus of the process is to improve the quality of an organization's outputs, including goods and services, through the continual improvement of internal practices. Total Quality Management is a term that was found in the 1950s. It was developed by William Deming, a management consultant, whose work had a great impact on Japanese manufacturing. The term total defines the entire organization, all parties, departments, and functions are involved in quality management. TQM is the continuous process of detecting and reducing or eliminating errors in manufacturing, streamlining supply chain management, improving the customer experience, and ensuring that employees are up to speed with training. Let's discuss 7 principles of total quality management. Number 1. Customer focused. Finally, the customer's feedback determines the level of quality. No matter what a system works to bring up quality improvement, training employees, unifying quality into the design process, or upgrading software, the customer controls whether the efforts were important. 2. Total employee involvement. All employees take part in working toward common goals. Total employee engagement can only be obtained, after they have moved fear from the organization, when employee empowerment has occurred, and when management has created the proper environment. High performance work systems involve continuous improvement efforts with normal business activities. 3. Process Centered A fundamental part of TQM is its focus on process thinking. A process is a series of steps that take inputs from suppliers, and transform them into outputs that are delivered to customers. The steps required to carry out the process are defined, and we should continuously monitor performance measures in order to detect unexpected variation. 4. Integrated System An organization should have an integrated system that provides effective total quality management. This may be an implied system, or one based on a quality standard such as ISO 9001, but it should be understood and applied across all functions and divisions of the organization. 5. Decision making based on facts. In order to know how well an organization is operating, data on performance measures is mandatory. Total quality management requires that an organization frequently collect and analyze data, in order to improve decision-making accuracy. 6. Strategic and Systematic Approach A significant part of the management of quality is the strategic or systematic approach to achieving an organizational goal. This process is called strategic planning or strategic management, and this includes the formation of a strategic plan that combines quality as a core component. Number 7. Communication. During day-to-day -day operation and times of organizational change, effective communication plays a significant part in maintaining morale and motivating employees at all levels. Communication involves strategies, practice, and timeliness. Here is a question for you. Quality practices must be carried out. Your options are At the start of the project Throughout the life of the project At the end of the project No need to carry out quality practices. Give the answer in the comment section. Now move on to, Advantages of Total Quality Management. The advantages of TQM include, Defect Reduction. 
total quality management has a strong influence in improving quality within a process, rather than checking out quality into a process. This not only reduces the time required to fix errors, but makes it less significant to employ a team of quality assurance personnel. Productivity Improvement Productivity rises significantly since employees are giving much less of their time chasing down and correcting errors. Increased productivity produces more output per employee, which often results in increased profits. Cost Reduction Total quality management can reduce costs throughout an organization, when implemented consistently over time. As a result of fewer product defects, companies save costs of customer support, product replacements, field service and the creation of product fixes. Customer Satisfaction Since the company has better product and services, and its interactions with customers are nearly error-free, there should be fewer customer objections. A higher level of customer satisfaction may also lead to raised market share as existing customers act on the company's side to bring in more customers. Improve Employee Morale The ongoing and proven success of total quality management can lead to a noticeable improvement in employee morale, which reduces employee turnover, and accordingly reduces the cost of hiring and training new employees. Disadvantages of Total Quality Management TQM also requires a considerable training period for those employees involved in it. Since the training can take people away from their usual work, this can actually have a negative effect on costs, which is a short-term effect. Since Total Quality Management results in a continuing series of incremental changes, it can develop a negative reaction from those employees who choose the current system, or who feel that they may lose their jobs because of it. If you want to read in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. If you find the video helpful and informative, give us a like, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves channel.